Hello, my name is Philip Ding, and I am a grade 12 student attending Western Canada High School. So even though what I'm about to say has indeed been submitted as a support letter, I know that speaking my mind out in person will let me express my views more clearly. Now, despite my direct involvement in a multitude of school clubs and extracurricular activities, band has never dropped below top three on my list of favorite things to do. Because of my deep and profound love I have for anything to do with band, I've been seeking for opportunities uh, that would satisfy my yearning ever since the start of high school. So for me, Western was a place to be. With three levels of concert bands, uh, totaling over 350 enrolled students, four jazz bands, and eight small ensembles, I knew, that the, I knew that the possibilities were endless. In grade 11, aside from my commitment in both, in both the symphonic band and saxophone ensemble, I had the honor of being selected to join the band executive. As an executive, I am now able to give back to the band program for what it has provided, for what it has provided me with over the years. Community, fun, and the chance to make music with my closest friends. Considering all of the things I am involved in in band, I spend close to five hours in the band room per week on average. Hence, I am proud to call myself a devoted member of the family that is a band program at Western Canada High School. Should I, end, should, I end, uh, should I identify my school's band program as extraordinary? Arguably, yes. Nonetheless, despite the expertise of our band teachers, Mr. Hagen and Mr. Harding, and the many opportunities for students to get involved in, there is only so far that the success of a program and its students can go without the tools they require to achieve that success. I am a tenor saxophonist in the wind ensemble, and I love the saxophone. However, the relationships with my rental saxophones over the past three years have had their ups and downs. It was a roller coaster. The way rentals work at Western is this. Grade 12 students get first pick at instruments, then grade 11s, and then finally grade 12s get what is left. This means that grade 12s get the best instruments from the inventory, but rightfully so. They have the most experience and deserve to use the best instruments that would allow them to play to the best of their abilities. But what this also means is that grade 10s and 11s are left with the worst of the bunch. To be honest, in my grade 10 year, I didn't really know what I was doing. As long as I could play the notes that were on my sheet music, I was happy. Although, I did find it per uh, peculiar how, at every individual assessment, Mr. Hagen commented that one of the most significant holdbacks for me was my tone quality, and how some notes sounded really hard to produce. After getting all the help I could get from professional saxophonists who taught us clinics and trying everything I could on a technique standpoint, I reached a conclusion that I wasn't that I wasn't the problem, the horn was. In my grade 11 year, luck was not on my side. Even though I picked a slightly better saxophone than the one I had in grade 10, its case was anything but in good shape. The corners were dented, the skin was peeling off, and the draw bolts were so loose that the handle couldn't even be lifted Without the, spot, without the stop hinge becoming misaligned. Mr. Hagen was smart about it and told me to switch cases with a friend before heading off on our trip to Los Angeles. Thank goodness. Otherwise, it would have been a miracle if the horn came back from the trip still looking like a saxophone. It was not until the start of grade 12 when I realized that the 10s and 11s were the mistreated kids in the family. I was lucky enough to get the very first pick at my instrument and ended up with the only good tenor saxophone in our entire inventory. I am very much pleased that I am able to make better sounds with less effort now than a year ago. However, at each rehearsal, the fact that my friends have to work so hard to make a nice sound on their less than stellar rental instruments pains me. A student shouldn't be forced to write their essays with a pencil that has its lead worn down to the wood. So why should a band student have to put up with instruments that are seriously ready to retire? Western's inventory of, of instruments that are in working order is diminishing, and we do not have the funds to replenish it. This is an issue that no amount of opportunities in our band program is able to solve, and I worry for the sustainability of the brand program that I hold so dear to my heart. For these reasons, Western Canada High School's band program has all the qualifications has all of the qualifications and more to be awarded the Band Aid Grant. Thanks so much for your time.